Hi guys, Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, we're going to cover some Twitch integration with your Stream Deck. If you're here now and you don't already have Twitch integrated onto your Stream Deck, there's a pretty good chance that you've recently purchased a Stream Deck or recently started streaming, or maybe both. Either way, I'm really keen to know how you have found the Stream Deck so far. I've had mine for maybe four or five months now, and I absolutely love it. I probably want to buy more, to be honest. <laughs> So yeah, as I said, we're going to cover how to integrate Twitch into your Stream Deck. Why would you want to integrate Twitch into your Stream Deck? I'm hearing you ask right now. I mean, you've already asked the question because you've searched for the topic, but I'm going to explain to you because that's what I do, okay? You're here for my advice, not the other way around. So I'm going to explain right now, and that's what I do. God, this is so difficult. <sighs> <laughs> well, first of all, the main uses that I use the Twitch integration into my Stream Deck for are for spamming emotes, so literally chat commands and things like that, or emote commands that you can auto preload onto buttons and just press the button and it pushes it into your chat without you having to go away and like, <laughs> type in my chat. I also use mine to run ads. Quick click of a button and it runs an ad. Obviously, we want to make the money. I also use it as well for things like emote only chat, follower only mode, and subscriber only chat as well. To be honest, most of those are useful. I mean, and they're useful anyway to have to manage your stream, but they are particularly useful if you get follow botted or chat botted. You can just hit a button on your stream deck because it's integrated with Twitch and you can stop the chat bots from chatting or you can stop the follow bots from. Well, there's nothing you can do about the follow bots, to be honest. You've just got to do that in retrospect. But either way, check the video in the link, which is how to deal with chat bots as well, because I did do a video about this, and it was really, really helpful. If it ever happens to you, you're going to hate it, and you're probably going to want to be prepared about it. Anyway, enough about me. If you find this useful, hit the like, subscribe if you want, and if you want to ask me any questions whatsoever, please check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Okay, first you're going to need to obviously open up your Stream Deck app. You need to make sure that you have installed on your Stream Deck app the Twitch application, of course. And that's probably the main reason why you are here. I've already got it installed, so I'm actually going to uninstall it. So here's also a video of how to uninstall Twitch as well. Bonus content. There's so much value for money on this channel, honestly. To uninstall more actions, I'm going to go on to the installed applications here. So just scroll down to the Elgato Twitch integration. This is an Elgato developed application on the Stream Deck. I'm going to uninstall this. Thing to quickly note here, when I click on install here and I go back into my Twitch integration here, the buttons do still exist. They're just not linked to an application or an account. So if I now reinstall, all of these buttons will still work. I figured that out when I was testing for this video. Yeah, I do sometimes prep, okay? When I now reinstall, Install all these buttons of work, but I'll show you how to set up some of the key buttons, for instance, adverts, spamming emotes, and stuff like that. So now we need to reinstall. <laughs> now we need to reinstall the Twitch integration. So before we install the Twitch integration, you need to make sure that you have actually linked your own Twitch account to the Stream Deck. And the way you do this, if you click on the cog here, you've got general settings, accounts, and profiles. Under the account section, you need to make sure that you've added your Twitch account here. I've also got my Streamlabs account here, and there may be other accounts that you add as well. Click the plus icon, click Twitch. It'll ask you to log in to authorize the application. Just go through that process, and you've linked the Stream Deck in itself to your Twitch profile. From there, we then need to install the Twitch application itself. More actions in the bottom right-hand corner. Do a quick search for Twitch. We got it here. It's the Elgato one. On. They're on version 1.0.4, but by the time you watch this, they might be on version 1.0.5. It doesn't really matter. It's the same application. Just get on with it. There's only been 129,000 installs on this. I would have thought it'd be a lot more than that. I'm surprised that it's as low as that, actually. But let's install that. Doesn't take long to install. There you go. Now it's installed. If I now go back to my Twitch tools, that I've, I've already preloaded these, and I'll go through some of those with you. They all now work. So all I've done here is open up my own chat here. If I just spam the girth emote, for example, it'll come up in chat. You can't see it because my camera's in the way. So I'm just going to keep spamming different emotes until you see them. There you go. All I'm doing here is pressing these buttons here and it will spam those and I'll show you how to set them up. But I now know that this is working. So that's just a quick way of testing it. If you've already got buttons set up and for, for whatever reason, if you need to uninstall and then reinstall it. So now you've got your Twitch profile linked to the Elgato Stream Deck. You've got the Twitch application installed. Wonderful. You're most of the way there. Now all you got to do is set up your buttons and it's as simple as that. You can get rolling with this. So I'm going to go through some key things here. Now, first of all, you'll note down the side here, these are all the different 
applications nested under the Twitch application. You can click the top right hand corner here and reorder these. For instance, if I wanted to put the Twitch integration to the very top, I'm not going to do that because it's then in the way. So I'm just going to move it down here. We're going to drag in a chat message. It gives it a standard button, which is a kind of a purple button. You can change this with the down icon set from file or whatever. Give the button a title if you want. For instance, emote one, very original. You select the account. If you've got multiple accounts, you can have emotes from different accounts on this. I don't know why you'd have that, but fine. It doesn't really matter. And of course, this doesn't actually have to be just your emotes. It can be any text whatsoever or anyone's emotes. The trick here is it's coming from your account. So if you want to use someone else's emotes, you do need to be subscribed to them. I think that's probably quite obvious. But if it's not working, don't drop comments on below and say, why is the emotes not working? If you're not subscribed to the channel, it's pretty obvious that you should be at least subscribed to the channel. Support your fellow streamers if you're going to spam their emotes right okay and also sub to my channel as well tier three actually tier four sub to me on tier four okay so all you do here is select the account that you want to send the message from in my case i'm going to send it from my machine day in a twitch account and then you type the emote here for instance lul 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 not like this so now i've now added that emote there that's now saved we then go back onto trusty chat here find out press that button and there you go you can see in chat lol 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 not like this that's worked as a chat emote i'm gonna add just a clear chat button here by pressing that button there it will literally clear this chat out as you can see that's worked perfectly emote only chat here again i press that button now and it'll There'll be a message here that you can see. Followers only chat, I'll add there. And you'll notice that the button goes a slightly different shade of purple by default from the Twitch app. You can also name them as well. Quick tip here, you can also color the text as well. So let's just look at this one. This this side here is indicating that it's off. And I'm not quite sure what that is, but it looks like it's emote only chat, okay? It says emote only chat here. But if I forget and I've not used this for a while, so I might as well put a title here, emote only. But I'm going to have it as red there. And on this side, I'm going to have emote only as green. And that's really, really dumb because actually you want it to be red when it's off. Yeah, I want it green when it's on and I want it red when it's off. That's the sensible thing to do, Machine Dana. There you go. Cool, cool. So we've been through some of those. We can put slow-mo chat on. I'll quickly run through ads. You can drag an ad here and then select the duration of the advert. Obviously the minimum adverts that you want to be running on your channel is six minutes every single time because the money. So 360 seconds gives you six full minutes of adverts. Wonderful content for your viewers, right? By pressing that, it'll run a six minute ad for viewers. There are other things you can do here and I won't go through them all uh, in detail, but I'll just give you an indication. You can open up the last clip that's been made. So if someone's recently just made a clip on your channel, that button will open up that in a browser. You can create a clip, which will create a 60 second clip of the last 60 seconds of your stream there's a view counter here sub only chat set the game title you can also create stream markers if you're doing content and you're providing access to that content for a video editor or something like that you may want to place markers down for key points in your content whenever something funny happens which in my stream is never <laughs> i'd literally never use that one though <laughs> i'm not even joking there Oh my god. Just one last extra tip here. You can have a folder as well by um, right clicking and create folder. That can just allow you to have more space to then have like a number of different reactions. For me, for example, if I wanted to spam the pog champs, but I don't want that on the main page because these are fairly standard Twitch emotes, I can place them in here. You can also have default commands in here as well. Again, this would be a chat message. I always on my stream have a today command, which tells people what's happening on the stream today. And I set that up in Streamlabs. So I have a command which is called today so it's easy for me to just have that here if anyone says what what's happening today what games are you playing i can just go you know what i'm a pro streamer i'm not even going to answer that question i'm just going to press a button and then you're going to be told it and you're going to look like a pro or very very ignorant depending on how you look at it so i'll just keep spamming that so you can see exactly what that looks like and of course it's on cooldown so you can't even see what i'm going to be playing today so there you go so there you have it, really quick and easy ways to integrate Twitch to your stream deck, how to make the best of the buttons, the different things you can do with the Twitch integration on the Elgato stream deck. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you've not, give it a thumbs down. I don't really care. <laughs> Please consider subscribing and I'll see you later. Cheerio.